Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the blower motor with simple tools everyone have it at home. A screwdriver and some grease. This is LG 12000 BTU with dual inverter compressor. First we are going to switch off the power and then gently we're going to detach the swing blade. Now we're going to detach the lower cover. It has three grabber, there is no screw, we just pull it gently. It also has three sliders. It's going to be attached with the front panel. These are the grabbers. It's going to hold the cover. They are going to attach to the base. Before we remove the front panel, we have to remove the filter so that we can have access. There are some grabbers holding the front panel. There are two screws securing the front panel. We need to unscrew it. There are little sign of arrows that shows us the location of the grabbers which has held the front panel. We're going to pull the panel carefully just with hand. We are not going to use anything else because it's going to break the panel. There are two connectors, one for the power button and another one for the swings blades motor we are going to disconnect. Now we're going to unscrew the screws. Now we are going to attach the drain pan. This is the ground wire we are going to disconnect it from the evaporator. Also this little cover need to be removed so that we can have access to the evaporator's temperature sensor. This is the sensor sometimes it gets corrosion really hard to detach and I always lubricate with some grease to prevent rust. There is kind of key make sure do not pull the sensor. Pull the key first, remove it out, and then the sensor. There is a screw we are going to unscrew it to remove the main board.
The evaporator has been secured with four screws too in this side the other two screws on the other side need to unscrew all of them. The evaporator can move now, it's gonna give us enough space to remove the motor. Okay, now I'm going to loosen the blower's bolt so that we can remove the blower out. At this side we have two screws for evaporator's holder, we have got one more screw holding the bearing, we are going to unscrew all of them. Now we are able to lift up a bit the evaporator to remove the blower. This is the screw holding the bearing. Okay, now we're gonna gently remove the blower. In this side now easily the motor can be removed. There we go. Okay, before fixing the new motor, lubricate the motor's shaft well with grease. It's gonna prevent rust and the blower never gets stick. The position of the motor related to the motor circuits in this particular unit, the motor circuits facing down. Now we are going to fix the evaporator first from this side. If you see rust on the screw, make sure to lubricate the screw so next time you should be able to open it. When I say lubricate, you may wondering the base of the unit is plastic and plastic doesn't get rusty. I meant lubricate the head of screw, actually the head of screw ruin with because of rust. There are three grabbers that hold the main board they should contact well with base and then we're gonna tighten the screw. I have already lubricated the sensor to prevent corrosion. Now I'm reconnecting blower circuits connectors. There is a little hook it holds the wires. Also, there is space for the wires, we should secure it.
Make sure put this little cover in the right position after that connect the ground wire otherwise condensation water will drop on front panel and then all the way through the lower cover into the room. Make sure check this bearing if need lubricate just add very small grease. This is the blower's bolt before fasten the bolt align the shaft and also the blower in the center make sure it doesn't have contact from side to side and then tighten the bolt. Now we're going to return the evaporator's holder. We are going to check make sure the drain pan is in the right position also double check there is kind of gutter it should be aligned well over the drain pan. Reconnect the connectors in this particular unit, we have two connectors, one for the swing blade, the other for power button. Gently attach the front panel, this part of the panel is so thin. These are the grabbers they hold the panel. Follow the arrows and push the cover you're gonna hear the clicking sound when it attached.
There is a little key on swing blade motor's shaft to align the blade and secure it. There we go. This is the lower cover we are going to attach. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.